congratulations so if you're watching this um chances are you might have just unlocked t4 so if that's the case congrats to you um and what i wanted to do was wanted to do a quick video to just talk to you guys about some of the things that i recommend um you should think about if you recently unlocked t4 you might be thinking what's next right because i feel like t4 in the game is a very specific um goal right where like you're constantly moving towards it so the very first thing is once you've unlocked it is let's make sure that we have fully done our monster hunt researching okay so if you've paid attention to some of the former videos that i've done i always talk about monster hunt research i know that sometimes you guys might get really close to the bottom and then you're just really doubling down on trying to get your t4 so you might let this go by the wayside totally fine it happens um but if you've unlocked t4 this will be a really good time to make sure that um you can go ahead and get that unlocked um the second thing that i'll talk about is if you are really big on fighting and you cannot wait to get out there and start kicking some butt, um, you can obviously look into your army leadership tree. You want to make sure that um, you, you can keep going kind of down the tree if you like. Uh, this tree, I will say, is really expensive, right? And you guys know that because you've been unlocking things to be able to get your T4. But as you go down and you're going to see, I don't have it maxed. Um, some of these are sick, like the ones at the bottom, and I'm sure there's videos out there on there that you can easily watch, but I will give you guys a recap. If you're curious right now, I'm 7 out of 10 for all of these, and you might be like, why haven't you done it? Oh my god, you're such a slacker. Like, it's 102 million food for this one, 34 million stone, 56 million gold. That's a lot, um, and you guys know... I'm always short on food because I had this like debacle that happened where I accidentally opened all my food packs and I became Chef Cali and gave all my food away to everybody in BRR back when I was in BRR. You can see this one needs 143 million food. It's a lot, right? And the length of time, the original time is 905 days. Like what? So it's crazy. And you get like, I don't know, incremental increases in your army. Um, Stats to me is just not worth it when there's like all these other things that you can do But I wanted to put it out there because I feel like this is where naturally the fighters tend to go And if you're a big spender and you can like speed through some of this research pretty easily then cool if not I just wanted to show you guys this so you could see how much it's gonna cost you at the end, right? Like if you're trying to get the significant increase in stats, that's where it's gonna cost you. A place you can focus instead is military command. This is a pretty good thing because you're able to increase your treasure trove. Yes, good, right? You're able to get additional energy. Hello, why not? And you're able to improve your darkness. Um, so this might be a good place, especially if you're in a primarily like free to play guild and they're looking for you to be the one to lead like the darkness rallies and stuff like that. This might be a good thing for you guys to think about. Um, I don't have to be that person in CAE, <laughs> so I don't really have to focus on it as much. There are people that have way better, awesomer like stats and gear and they're the ones that can do all the level five darkness. So I didn't have to focus on there too much. But then um, also wanted to talk about familiar. Now, I do have a video um, outlining exactly how to do your familiars because you guys are super confused still about that. And I'm seeing that in comments and I see it in my mail. Um, so this is another thing that you could potentially focus on. Um, and then here I'm just showing you like the familiars that I've been able to unlock. Again, there is going to be a separate video on that. So we will talk about that in depth, but that's another good place. And then lastly, you can just spam T4 troops, right? Like you're excited, you want to fight. You could have a bunch of T4 troops. They are expensive to make. That is going to be the first thing that you're going to notice is make sure that you have um, good supplemental sources of resources. That's kind of what I'll leave you with. It is very expensive to not only make the troops, but to heal those troops from a food perspective, gold, like everything, right? So you could think about trying to work on your subsidies so they're not quite expensive. I will say that is probably one of my biggest... Um, the biggest things that I wish I could change was working on my subsidies. So definitely recommend that you guys do that so that it's not quite as expensive, right? When you decide that you want to create T4. If I would have done that from the beginning, I can't even tell you how many hundreds of millions of resources I probably would have saved. Hopefully this is helpful. If you have any questions, let me know down below. And as usual, thank you so much for watching.